On July 31st, 2015, the day she died, she had just seen her drug counsellor. After her dad died and her addiction blossomed, he became the father figure of her life. She was working in his garden. Toward the end of her life, she created gardens for people just because she loved it. It gave her a place to put her anxieties, her many tendencies. He called her, saying he had to go, and was she okay? She waved him on, I'm fine, I'm fine. This is maybe 3.30pm. I'm glad that she saw her counsellor that day. They loved one another very much. At 4 o'clock, she's a 47-second outgoing call to Alan. At 4.02, there's an incoming call from Alan for 54 seconds. At 4.08, she calls Gary for one minute. Then Gary calls her back at 4.20, and they talk for 42 seconds. At 4.27, she calls Gary again, and they talk for 41 seconds. At 4.39, she's an outgoing call to Tim for one second. At 4.40, she's a call out to Jerry for one minute. Are you Alan, Gary, Tim, Jerry? Were you the last one to talk to her? Did you see her too? Were you with her? Both her windows were rolled down. Had someone been in the passenger seat? Were you with her when she died and got scared and ran? Tell me, what were her last moments like? What was she saying before? Did you watch her die? My mother worries that she wanted to die, but I don't think so. How long have you been cutting heroin with fentanyl? I don't think Sasha saw her coming. You sucker punch people, you know. She had meetings coming up written in her day book about possible work. She was trying. In an email reconnecting with a beloved former colleague two days before she died, she said, Hi, surprise, surprise, rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. LOL. Her autopsy says 6.54 p.m. as her time of death. Sometime between 4.40 and 6.54, Sasha inhaled the drugs that killed her. She hated needles. She was found in her car in the parking lot of the seafood restaurant of I-95. The detective on the scene happened to be an old high school friend. He told me that he thought she probably used, felt sleepy, and needed to pull over.